fishing, fishing, fishing. Don't just sit there wishing, wishing. Lemony flavored fish would taste great. Let's go fishing, I can't wait. Let's go fishing. I'm gonna mount this baby. You get a line, I get a pole, honey, honey. You get a line, I get a pole, babe, babe. You get a line, I get a pole, we'll go down to the fishing hole, honey, baby, mine. We used to sing that in the army, and then say, give me your left, you're right, your left. Well, let's go on down and fish down at these feet. Got to haul my trailer, haul my fish back. Got some reading material. Got to have something to read while you're waiting on the fish. About Webster's College Dictionary is a good reading thing right there. Well, I'm gonna get set up here. So over here. Look, there's a message in a bottle over there. I'm gonna see if I can't get that and see what it says. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is set out my trot line. There's a big old fish in here we put back here in 1966. Romeo's his name. Well, let's throw this out there. That jug makes a good bobber. We just anchor it off right here. I don't think you can pull that away. And then we got to put a rubber boot on. I finally found that other one that was missing. There's a wolf nest in there. You always make sure you check your boots. One time I went and put my shoe on like that. And there was a snake in there. Boy, I come out of them things fast, I don't want to tell you. Got to put down my hat to wade in the water a little bit. <sighs> Take these all up. Got another one right there. Dirt dauber nest. Won't hurt nothing, I'll throw it out there. Okay. Now when you come fishing, you got to have all your tools. And this right here is a fancy. Zebco 888. You can go saltwater fishing with that baby. We might throw it out there and see if we can't catch some. But I got my old homemade pole over here. I use a lot. Rig this up. Clean off the top of my car for it. Got to have your hooks on there like this, see? Make sure she's tied up. Let me get some paint up. I know a lot of y'all like uh, your uh, lemon on your fish. Well, if you use lemons for bait, you ain't got to worry about putting no lemon juice on your fish. Because they'll eat it and it makes them taste like lemon. That wire comes in handy for putting it on there like that. Get up. Go so center out right over here. Got some pecan for bait. Fish like pecan pretty good. Uh, usually I just tie my hook to this right here and throw the whole thing out there. But I ain't gonna do that right now. I'm gonna see if they biting on them lemons. And then we got this tackle box right here. Took that down to Jake Island and see what's in there. Got your barber. Got some of that fish bite stuff. I might try some of that right there. A little like bubble gum. Don't, don't eat it. It ain't good. It smells kind of funny too. We're gonna take this new fangle pole right here. We'll take, and, uh, take the hook off, and we'll put one on there like that. Throw it out there like this, bring it back. That little curtain. I wonder what's in there. Now look at it. Good coffee cans. Good piece of fat lighter. Right 
big fish or the fish is kind of slow you see one you get this handy tool here called a pitch for people throw hay and stuff with them you might see one like this there's one right there but up this one you know i come out here one time and i caught her a tomato can full of fish and some little ones but i know that big ones over there probably by that old artwork over there probably over there brought his buddies over here to admire that artwork the bear left down there Found a peanut, found a peanut. Got, a, got a pull it like that, see? I got a bite on my other pole over there. Well, she's empty. Got to throw her back out there. Swing her around a time or two like that. Well, someone left the truck bed liner down here. Pretty nice, ain't covered a few holes in it. I think I'll take that back with me since I didn't catch no fish. She got away from me. A little water now. Look what I caught. I'm gonna mount this baby. <laughs> 